Howdy, howdy, and welcome to episode 8 of HP 1704 Answers Your Queries. It's time to drink up all the beers. He is going to call you all a bunch of queers. It's the man with the mustache. You know him well. Answering your questions is his living hell. He likes to hunt and sleeps with a 12 gauge. He doesn't ask any questions about your sister's age. Talking to the nerds of Noob Tube, yelling yob and touching your mother's boob. Just remember all you pussies to be a dick, or you join the wall made out of retard bricks. Shout hooray or scream out for more. Here is the one and only HP 1704. For those of you who don't know, this is a weekly show where I answer the questions and queries from the Noob Tube community. Well, Look what we have here. It's HP 1703, back from the hospital. Hooray! Thanks to everyone who sent well wishes. Well, yeah, yeah, there was there was one person who was giving you well wishes. Thanks, Smokestorm. Nah, it was not Smokestorm. He called you a tosser. A tosser of what? I don't know, uh, salads. Anyway, uh, so, HP... How was your hospital visit? Why do you care? Well, the court-appointed uh, anger therapist told me that I should take an active interest in treating you as a human being and not as a physical manifestation of my homicidal tendencies. So, this is me um, trying to give a shit. Oh. I also got a squeezy ball for stress. Mine's shaped like a football, see? Anyway, why don't you tell me about your hospital visit? It was awesome! I got to eat jello, yum, jello! And then they hooked up my Xbox, and I got balloons, yay, balloons! And then a nurse gave me a sponge bath, and it was great! Wait, was it a female nurse? No, girls can't touch my happy bits until I'm married, silly! Let's get on with the questions. If you had a choice to choose what beer to drink out of a selection of three, which will you choose and why? A. Heineken B. Budweiser C. Corona Well, Slig, the answer to your question is, is a pretty easy one, actually. Uh, Heineken is Dutch and Corona is Mexican. Why would I want to drink those? I've, I've never been to Mexico. I don't plan on it. And I've never been to, to Dutchland. And I don't plan on that. And I don't want their beers. Budweiser is clearly the answer here. Coincidentally, uh, Budweiser is from St. Louis, which is not in Wisconsin, but it's still, it's still an okay beer. I mean, you know, for a non-Wisconsin beer, it's, it's not bad. It's not good. You know, it doesn't taste like it came from Wisconsin. It tastes like it used that, you know, St. Louis urine water. Um, which I think they just call water there. Um, but yeah, Budweiser is the answer. Next! If you were a ninja, what ninja weapon would you use? Well, Sam the Face, if I was a ninja, I would use ninja stars. Because everyone knows it gives you invincibility for like 20 seconds. Next! Who would you rather do? Sarah Palin? Cindy McCain? Michelle Obama? Or Hillary Clinton? Well, Search, this could be a difficult question, but I was fortunate enough to enjoy the company of all these fine ladies all at once. I did some some hunting in uh, in the Baltimore area. I was hunting Orioles, and um, you know I just I just hopped across the river there, and all these women were in D.C. and um, we spent about three and a half hours uh, enjoying each other's company. Um, some more than others. Some don't like to share. Uh, I'll let you guess which is which. When you're the old four, you don't have to choose in Christians like this. You just take all of them at once. And that's what I did. 
Next. Is it true that if you can make a lesbian heterosexual again, you get 25 years good luck? Well, Vermillion, uh, technically it, it is true and is, it isn't. Um, yes, there is 25 years of good luck, but it actually goes to the woman and not to you yourself. You know, when, and Hillary Clinton probably has uh, 13 or 14 more years of good luck. So, you know, look for her in the next presidential race. Next! Have you ever been red-ringed or know of someone that has? Uh, well, Gajin, I personally have never been red-ringed because uh, I have never been to prison. But I know a couple guys who have. And, um, you know, they didn't talk about it much. Uh, and I did not force the issue. Uh, a good friend does not force his friends to tell him about being red ringed. You know, keep that in mind if you know somebody who has been. Um, you know, don't, don't make them talk to you about it. Um, you know, if you can get them to tell you how they gained that flexibility, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to get in that position, even, you know. Um, so, you know, maybe they have some tips if you want to get more flexible. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to them about being red-ringed. That's just, that's not very classy. Next. Who would win in an arm wrestle between you and HP-1703? I would. Next. Can we see who would win between you two in an arm wrestle? Uh, you're, you're looking at him. I would win. You are seeing. Now show, show him again uh, what the question was. Can we see who would win between you two in an arm wrestle? And you're looking at him, you know. Yes, you can see, and it's me. Uh, you need to be more specific about what you're asking for. The question does not say, would you and HP1703 please arm wrestle and record it with a video recording device and put that video in this one so that we can see who would win. Uh, that is not what it says. This is not HP1704 answers your asinine requests. I'm answering questions, not requests. Keep that in mind. So I would win, clearly. Right-handed, left-handed. Yeah, I would probably win with somebody else's arm, in all honesty. I'd just be like, go, uh, you know, beat him. And, and the other arm would, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be, like, attached to anything. I'd just be like, you know, win. And 03 is distracted easily. I mean, that, that's a little-known fact about arm wrestling if you can distract your opponent you can win more easily and he I mean like shiny keys and flashing lights you know reflective surfaces pretty much anything like that will will distract him quite a bit and then he, he doesn't even remember he's arm wrestling so it's it's not even I mean that's not interesting really I just hold up my keys and he you know laugh for a while, you know, longer than he needed to. Even if you put the keys away, he still laughs. He's still laughing. You know, he's like, oh, I remember those keys from three seconds ago. Well, that's funny. But it's not funny. It, it makes no sense. Next!